okay, I've decided on a language, but I have no idea where to start learning. What do I even write code into? Where can I learn how to use the language? Where can I talk to others about game development? And I can't draw! Where can I get the graphics for my game? I've created a basic list of different places you can go to learn, and some tools you can use, but there are always more options out there. There are threads for these links on my message board, so if I find any more links later on, I will post them there. And hopefully other people will contribute as well. And, as always, Google is always there to help you out. For general game development guides, and directories of more specific guides, a few places you can go for game development tutorials are GameDev.net and the TIG Source forums. Both of these places have lots of different articles on various subjects. For learning the basics of C++, you can check out Anti-RTFM's video tutorials here. And also there's this guide on how to program in C++. Picking up a textbook on C++ or any other language you're learning is also a good idea, since they cover the basics in a very structured format. A few places you can go for Allegro tutorials are the Allegro Quick Reference, cppgameprogramming.com, loomsoft.net, and my website. Some places to learn about SDL are lazyfoo.net, the official SDL webpage, sdltutorials.com, gpwiki.org page, and my own website. There are a lot of C++ and OpenGL tutorials at nihi.gamedev.net and videotutorialsrock.com, as well as lighthouse3d.com, and there are plenty more out there if you do a search. A couple places you can go for C Sharp and XNA tutorials are the official XNA website and Reamer's 2D and 3D tutorials. To find links for learning other languages, or if you want to suggest a specific website or book, please check out my message board's directory of resources forum. A few communities you can join that are related to game development or programming are the GameDev.net boards, the TIG source boards, Anti-RTFM's message board, um, and the Elysian Shadows board has a pretty good amount of experienced programmers with forums where you can post about your game or ask questions or talk about gaming and other things in general. They also have an IRC chat room. There's also my own website, and it has a small community of hobbyist programmers, as well as a forum for questions, tutorials, and sometimes we even hold game development competitions. You will also need some tools in order to make games, from your IDE, to an art program, to a music composition program, if you're going to do that stuff, and you might even need a level editor. Here are some options. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Besides just being a compiler, they also generally feature debugging tools and other tools to help you create your projects. Microsoft has a bunch of express versions of their IDE, which you can use for Visual Basic, C Sharp, C++, and maybe some other languages. NetBeans is an IDE that you can use for Java, Ruby, C++, and PHP. Eclipse is another IDE you can use for Java, C++, and PHP. And a couple of other C++ IDEs are Codeblocks and DevC++. Some free music composing tools you can check out are Anvil Studio, which is a free MIDI editor, Musagi, which is a music synthesizer program, or PX Tone, the music editor by the creator of Cave Story. For sound effects, there are some tools like Audacity, which is a sound recorder and mixer, which is my audio recording tool for my tutorials and such, and then SFXR, which generates retro-styled sound effects. For 2D graphics, some options are GIMP, which is an open-source Photoshop-type graphics editor, GraphicScale, which is a shareware application made especially for making animated sprites, Inkscape, which is a vector graphics program, Pencil, which is another vector graphics editor, particularly for making animations, and some others are MTPaint, Paint.net, and PhotoPlus. Some 3D modeling editors are 3D Canvas, Anim8or, Blender, Metasequoia, Milkshape, and Wings 3D. Some map editors you can use are Campaign Cartographer, Mappy, and Tiled. I have a map editor as well, which is Musigo, but it's kind of crappy. When I have time, I'm going to be making a new map editor in Java, but if you're wanting to write your own map editor, you might find that stepping through the Musigo code is helpful. I also have a small guide on my website for creating tiled map editors. 
If you're not particularly adept at creating graphics or music, and you can't find anybody to help you out with asset creation, you should search around for public domain assets rather than ripping art and music from video games. It can be hard to find public domain resources, though. When you're doing a Google search, make sure you read the licenses of any assets you may want to use to make sure you are using them correctly. In general, public domain stuff is completely free and has no restrictions. Here are a few websites that have public domain and open licensed graphics. Also, I have public domain art and music on my website. I will take requests for art assets, and I will usually draw them if I can. But they will automatically become public domain and free for everybody to use unless we make a specific deal.